Hi YouTubers, welcome back. This is part 10 of the build of the US Coast Guard Fast Response Cutter by Dumas Products. Kit number 1275. This is the part for making the water line and a new idea. Stay tuned. Water line, see figure 89. This is on page three. Water line guide. Water line is quick and easy to apply. Follow these steps when you get ready to draw the water line using one quarter inch wide black tape for ease of insulation for the final water line. Refer to the water line guide in the back of the figure drawing, see figure 89 on page 26. We just looked at that. Lay the hull upside down on top of a flat surface like a tabletop and make sure it's perfectly level. There it is. B, view figure 89 entitled Waterline Guide. Note the dimension given in regard to the waterline, one five eighths inch at the transom. Place two blocks of wood, same size, under the rear portion of the hull. Support the bow with another smaller block if you need it for additional support. Here's everything we talked about already. Paying attention to this figure here, one and five eighths from this point to this point and on the transom. Use your layout square. Go from the bottom here up to here and I just drew it very rough, one and five eighths of an inch, just like it shows here. So I like to check my work double. So I use a, a digital level and laser. And let's check zero. Laser. Close. Very close. I cut myself off on the prior video. Your next step is to go ahead and cut a block of wood to size so that the center of the pencil is the correct height needed. And then you tape a pencil to the block. But that involves this block has got to be perfectly sized up to there so i've made my own little mickey mouse idea my block involves a very flat piece of hardwood three quarter inch thick three inches wide six inches long i've cut two six inch pieces three quarter inches thick inch and a half wide two smaller spacer blocks one will go here one will go here and this other one will go here. Make sure everything's perfectly flat, true, and square. I went ahead and put rubber bands just to hold it in the time being. And uh, this piece here, it'll hold the pencil. And I'm using this piece here as a guy. It'll slip right into here. And once everything is tightened, you can adjust it wherever you want to. And also, I'm using these uh, T-handled uh, screws. So I've got to drill the hole for them and using the T-nuts the on the other side. And so if you need to make a change, all you have to do is just loosen the screws and move it wherever you want to. The hole for the pencil is 9 30 seconds. I went ahead and glued it together and used a pin nailer to uh, put two uh, nails in there. Now let's drill the holes for these and the T-nuts. Uh, 5 sixteenths on this end. This will be a quarter on this end. And I forgot to mention two screws using number eight. I think they're about inch and a quarter and it's countersunk. Okay, drill the holes as needed. That took a while. I went ahead and put uh, washers over here too. The pencil's in. It's, it's tight. And uh, I, this was amazing. Uh, it really works. So let's get this thing and mark the hole. Okay, lasers on is zeroed out. And I hope you can just barely see that. It's set. Here's another mark. I went ahead and just marked it right there. I want to check it with my level. Checked it with a zero, leveled it out, and the laser's indicating right on that line that I marked. Let's go ahead and work some more. I 
real quick check of the level. It's zeroed. Laser is right on that line we marked. Our tool works. Fantastic. This is the end of part 10, and I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, I'm only doing the hard parts, which are a little hard to understand, and hope to make it better. Okay, thanks.